This video is to help with the initial setup of GoToAssist Service Desk. When you log in for the first time, you'll come to this landing page, the Overview page. You can see there are tabs across the top here, allowing you to switch between incident, problem, change, etc. But for the initial setup, you're going to pull down this Configure menu and choose Settings. You can go directly to the submenus. In my case, I'm going to go to the Settings home page, and we see several boxes here. In this example, I'm going to be a managed service provider with a team of technicians made up of users providing three services to several companies, and within those companies I'll have several customers. We'll also set the portal and email settings, as well as the account-wide settings. So I'm going to start with groups. I've created a team of technicians called my Level 1 team, and they're going to do the initial support. So if we look inside, we can see we've got an email address. Now when customers send to this email address, it'll automatically get assigned to this team. I can use the breadcrumbs here to go back to the main menu. Now let's look at users. I'm going to search for a specific one, one of my technicians. I've chosen their picture. I'm giving them user access, not admin access for these services. And I've made them a standard user as opposed to an account administrator. Thus, they cannot create user accounts. I've made them a time user so they can use time tracking. Now let's talk about services. Services are a way to keep things organized and separate. For example, in my case, I've got facilities, IT support, and mobility that I'm offering to customers. This might be one for each customer. This might be separating employees from customers. It could be used for any sort of organization. There's a set of settings, that is SLA and defaults and other settings, that apply to each service. So that's why you would create different services. Let's take a look at IT support. The important settings for incidents are under priorities. I've got my priority 1 through 5 here and the names for those priorities. There's the hours that are in the SLA. And if I click on this More button here, I can specify that the SLA clock runs just weekdays 9 to 5, except for the holidays, which are defined on the account-wide settings. And then I'm going to escalate the SLAs to some service admins if it reaches 90% of that four hours. We can see the types of incidents are question, request, and suggestion. These are the ones that are exposed in the portal. You can have additional incident types there that the technicians can see. Then let's look at the default selections. The important one here is the default assignee. So when customers create incidents, it'll be automatically assigned to level one team. And I've got my default priority as priority three. And the default type of incident is service request. Feedback is where you allow customers to give user satisfaction as well as sending them an email automatically requesting their satisfaction survey. Now let's look at companies. These are very straightforward. It's just a phone number and company name. But I do this first so I can create customers and put them directly in those companies. Here's one customer. I've assigned them to a company, put in their phone number, etc. There's three ways to create customers. You can create them one by one like this. You can import from a file or you can have customers create accounts for themselves by sending an email and they'll automatically get a link to activate their account. I've given them standard access as opposed to company access. Company access allows them to see the incidents created by other people in their company. Company admin access allows them to create other users in their company. And I've given them the ability to log incidents for IT support and mobility but not facilities. Now let's look at customer emails in portal. This is the from address for your emails. Auto response emails when they create a ticket via email. Feedback is the wording and the links that they'll see when they do a customer satisfaction survey. Unknown customers. This is where you allow customers to create their own accounts by sending an email to a specific address. Portal settings shows the URL that your customers will go to and the default home page. I want to encourage self-help, so I'm going to have them arrive at the knowledge base. Portal branding is where you select the color of the customer portal as well as upload the logo. Manage account is the account-wide settings. For example, the non-working days where I define the holidays. So that's it for the basic settings to get you started. To return back to the main menu where the daily work is done, click on back to IT support and you see the screen that we started at. That's it. Thanks for watching.